Hello, my name is Christian Livingstone, and if you're a bit familiar with my YouTube channel, New Jerusalem Times, you'll kind of get the impression, and rightly so, that I like to uh, demonstrate things that haven't been done before, or present uh, information that's uh, not readily out there, and uh, because me as a, a consumer, a, a seeker of uh, information at times, I would look to uh, sites like YouTube to, you know, see how to do stuff. Stuff that, uh, you know, nowhere else uh, uh, was presenting. And, uh, you know, you can download manuals and white papers on things, but uh, it's uh, a lot nicer to actually be able to see some guy like you, me, or some gal uh, uh, doing something, uh, showing you just how easy or uh, undifficult it is. And uh, I was doing a video on my lawnmower not long ago. Uh, it's a Dixon uh, riding lawnmower, the zero turn kind. You just run it and turn it and stop it, everything with the, the two hand controls. And I enjoy the mower. I bought it used and I uh, used it for a few seasons and finally. Uh, rebuilt this friction cone drive and that was one of the things that there really wasn't much out there visually you just couldn't find it and so I decided to do it and then you know show what uh, it was like for me and I got some good responses and uh, one guy who said he uh, uh, did it as well uh, asked me after watching the video he, he asked me because I put put a little some some extra touches in there and I put on some lights on on this model and he had the same exact model and he asked me you know well where'd you wire it exactly and uh, uh, you know because I guess he wanted to put put some on too and I told him I went uh, through the ignition switch and because that's where I put a little toggle switch rather than just uh, uh, pigtail off the battery I said I already had a pigtail on that for uh, my uh, electric uh, sprayer and uh, you know it occurred to me that the electric sprayer that I developed or, or made uh, was kind of an unusual uh, item and a, a very helpful item for me and uh, I think uh, in the marketplace there isn't really anything like it now there's there's nothing revolutionary about the design or the system that uh, is employed on it uh, it's uh, it's quite common but what was uncommon was the shape and maybe the size and uh, I don't know maybe uh, the fact that it isn't a portable unit there were portable units but uh, uh, mine isn't necessarily portable it's highly adaptable but anyway what I was using was this uh, most recently I was using a three gallon uh, sprayer for weed spraying and uh, other stuff like that and uh, you know I, I'd gone through a couple of these you can buy these cheap you can buy uh, $25 models this is about I don't know 40 40 45 dollar model and it it came with this uh, applicator wand and you know it works okay but it's got its drawbacks and uh, you know I wasn't real happy with the uh, the, the applicator or the sprayer nozzle so I uh, upgraded it uh, with this I think this is a Gilmore or no Chapin this is a Chapin uh, uh, type and this is the type I like the best it just is uh, really the simplest uh, most elegant function and uh, it, it's heavier duty than most out there and you don't need this uh, extension on it you can just put the nozzle down here which I like and I'll show you but uh, there's things that are lacking in these manual pump sprayers. They're, uh, they're not real fast. I've got this pump pumped up, and you can see it, it shoots pretty far, but it's not going to put out a lot real fast. So, you know, I tend to ride that uh, mower. And let me show you the mower real quick. This is that Dixon. Dixon um, friction drive. Uh, zero turn mower it's uh, a 1995 so as you can see I have both of the sprayers on the mower right now 
and uh, this one is always stable generally speaking unless I'm really rocking and rolling and it's never happened that this one has fallen off I've fumbled around with this one a lot uh, when I'm using it up top here I've uh, uh, strapped it down with a, a tarp uh, a rubber uh, bungee uh, like uh, device and uh, you know that will hold it better but you know that's just another thing to get and to use and uh, so less is more to me and uh, but I'm gonna uh, leave this one up top here to help stabilize it and so you know you won't see it fumbling around so much it's it's really not about you know that so much I'm I'm talking about the, the coverage the difference in coverage and speed on this one now see these are both the same handles but I like this uh, electric sprayer notice how short uh, uh, the line is you know so if I drop it you know it's not going to get chopped up by the mower and uh, really the typical amount of uh, uh, hose that you get on these is I don't know it's somehow excessive to me and even the uh, uh, extension is you know I don't need to be out here these these things spray far enough that you don't, you don't really need this but there it is and if you want you can take off this nozzle and put it down here usually with no trouble at all yeah I like the streams I don't like the the fan pattern on these because uh, most times when I'm spraying you know I'm uh, going for uh, select weeds you know I'm if I really want to hit a broad uh, pattern, all you have to do is wand back and forth and you just put put a big fan anyway. So I don't like the fan patterns. These are both uh, just straight streams and you can get more mist if you adjust them. See, mist, stream. So that's just my preference. It's been rebuilt the drivetrain or refurbished at least you'd call it uh, and I'm happy with it I was happy with the mower before I'm happy with it now even happier with it now but what I tend to do is uh, ride that around uh, doing my cutting on this property it's a one acre property and I uh, mow one across the street uh, as well uh, lady it's not as big a place as this but uh, so I do a good deal of um, larger residential uh, lawn mowing and uh, I tend to want to just do everything right from the mower cut trim spray and uh, you know it, it you know one of these will work and uh, I came up with about the three gallon is, is about the right size for me that'll usually do a front yard uh, probably not a front and back uh, if you're uh, weed spraying so I thought, well, maybe something bigger, but, you know, they just become more upright uh, in the larger volumes, and they have a, a low or a, a, a small uh, circumference around the base. And so, you know, this baby would pretty much wobble around, and, you know, you can put a, a tarp strap uh, tie down if you want on it, but, uh, and, you know, you're pumping and spraying, moving, pumping, spraying, and it works uh, it's not really super efficient so you know uh, I mowed it one time or another most of these yards on, on I don't know probably three houses both ways and across the street a half a dozen or more lawns and I uh, at one time I borrowed a neighbor's uh, 25 gallon pull behind uh, you know industrial sprayer what you would almost consider a commercial uh, uh, sprayer and uh, you know it, it was effective and uh, I, I would never consider owning one because they just they take up too much space floor space you use them about four times a year I suppose for most people on one property and even on a, uh, a commercial outfit you know just keeping that somewhere and putting it maybe on on your trailer uh, it just didn't seem to me that you know those things are, are the greatest thing to have uh, uh, in many cases so here I am I'm borrowing 
big sprayers, I'm using little sprayers, I'm fumbling around with this stuff most of the time. And so I came up with what I think is uh, a combination of those two. I just used the same type of pump that you'll find on those uh, commercial sprayers. And, you know, there's these pumps are, are very common in RB uh, units. And so I bought one. And the pump was about uh, $30, I believe. This is sea flows so this might have some marine uh, application but looks just like the sure flow pumps that are so common and uh, I decided to put it on a five gallon uh, bin or a bucket and uh, the bucket is a screw on type and so you know it, I, I think that was a better uh, uh, thing to use than you know those snap-on kinds because it seems like you're always nearly nicking or pulling off your fingernails getting those off and they split around the lid so uh, uh, strangely enough this thing blew into my yard and uh, I wasn't even looking for it yet at that point I was still kind of wondering hmm wonder what kind of bucket I could use to put one of these pumps on this thing blew into my yard and both of my neighbors on both sides have these above ground uh, pools. And uh, I asked both of them, I said, is this your bucket from those uh, chlorine tablets? Because that's what kind of a bucket it was, the screw on type. No, I just used those one gallon. This guy, no, he, he just put in the pool. No, mine's a, a white bucket with a yellow top, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, this was like uh, from heaven. It just fell into my my yard area I asked around and uh, nobody knows and it, it matched my mower the color and then I thought oh yeah hey that'd be great for the mower and so sure enough I end up uh, doing it uh, with this bucket and this pump and I put on that similar shape and uh, handle sprayer and uh, I don't use the extension on it I like it better like this and I don't have a very long uh, hose on this because I don't want it falling and getting caught in the ground rolling over it with the tires so I, I keep a kind of a short leash on this baby and uh, we'll go out and I'll show you the difference between what it's like to use a sprayer versus this uh, pump and <clears throat> you can see the uh, positive and negative lead here and uh, that's all it is one two Right on uh, my mower, I uh, put that pigtail similar. I use this right off the battery. I'll just take off the cover, and this is it. This is a pigtail right off the battery, positive, negative. There's a little cover on it. I'll pop that off. And uh, here is the matching connector, those Anderson power pole connectors. And I'll just try to do this one-handed. So anyway, you hear the motor going, and what that means is it's trying to prime itself. And I didn't put an inline switch or anything on this. It's just plug and play. But uh, when you hear that initially, it's the air in the line. So all you do is you clear the line, and then it uh, automatically uh, shuts off. There's a pressure regulator. But uh, yeah, you got to... Uh, uh, purge the line for it to actually prime with the water and then uh, uh, it doesn't constantly run and when you run out of course the motor will uh, uh, continually try to prime so as soon as uh, you know the water runs out you just unplug it so there's no need for a, a switch in my opinion but uh, you know you can put one on there if you want uh, a surgeon let's say he might make you know hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars per year but why would he change his own oil on his car just to save five bucks no it's ridiculous his time is much more valuable than that and even though he, he might uh, save five dollars changing his his own oil on his car he'd be a fool to do so you know his time is more valuable for other things and uh you know, if there was a product out there, I would have bought it and not done this. You know, 
my total cost on this was about the same as this, which is a good value, but I would have rather not have done it, you know, myself. I would have rather have just bought it <coughs> even at $60, $70. Would have been better for me to just do that. I had to buy these things and plug holes in here. And you can see how I did it. I didn't even use bolts or anything. These are just press-in fasteners from uh, car applications and rubber grommet. These uh, clamps are from my beer kegging uh, equipment. And uh, yeah, it's basically that simple. But I would have bought it if there was a product out there. There wasn't, and so uh, the invisible hand of the, of the uh, free market, which in this case was me, uh, developed uh, something. And uh, who knows, maybe this will, after you're seeing this, uh, take off and somebody will market it. And thankfully, there's nothing really uh, worthy of patents here. You know, I'm anti-status, Christian anarchist, and I'm not a fan of uh, intellectual property, the so-called state invention and called intellectual property. So there's nothing new or different here. The only thing different is is the, the putting this on the bucket. So yeah, nobody's going to get a monopoly on that. So that's a good thing. And uh, so yeah, I suggest uh, giving this a shot. If you've been you know, thinking, yeah, I, uh, you know, I'm always fumbling around when it comes time to spray, and uh, you, you won't be uh, fumbling around so much. So maybe at this point, I'll just uh, hop on the mower for the uh, demonstration purpose. I'll, uh, I'll go out here beyond that shadow on the grass, and uh, what I'll do is uh, I'll target the uh, darker. Uh, uh, grass. There's some fescue growing up along with the uh, Bermuda. The Bermuda is just starting to green up now. It's May, early May, and the Bermuda has been brown up until this point. The fescue's always green sooner, but uh, I'll act like the fescue. This is just water in here. I'll act like the fescue is a, uh, a clover I've been targeting lately. And we'll just let you see how, you know, my motion and and the speed in which uh, the stuff puts out. Now, this motor is uh, 1.2 gallons a minute, and uh, you know you don't have to worry about that all getting sucked out of your five-gallon bucket in, you know, eight minutes because uh, the nozzle is gonna uh, be not let you get all that out. So, you know, but you know, with steady depression on this uh, lever, you will uh, move some solution. So let's get to it.
have it. The difference in the usage of the two, you know. Both are effective. Both cost the same. If you do the work in putting a pump on a bucket, they both essentially cost the same. Doesn't take much time or know how to do this. I did it. You can undoubtedly do it too. And uh, I tell you honestly, I pick this one every time over this one now. I still got this one, and once in a while I'll have different mixtures for different things, but uh, you know, as soon as this one's available, I'm dumping this one out into this one. So, there you have it.